Welcome to Inspire From Universe. It's a student special channel. Have you ever thought the difference between a village and a city? When we think of a city, all the modern facilities we enjoy is what comes to our mind. Humans have been living in this world for almost 300,000 years. But our way and standard of life has changed drastically only for the last 250 years. This phenomenal change in our lifestyle started as a revolution. This revolution is called the Industrial Revolution. The Industrial Revolution happened in England in cities like Manchester, Birmingham and Liverpool. In this video, we are going to see how these cities contributed to this revolution which changed the lifestyle of the entire world. All videos in Inspire from Universe are student-centric, so kindly subscribe our channel to reap the full benefit of it. If you are wondering what's the point in knowing something which happened 250 years ago, then you yourself can get the answer at the end of this video. So please, watch till the end. If we need to define the Industrial Revolution in one sentence, then it's nothing but the process of change from an agrarian and handicraft economy to one dominated by the industry and machine manufacturing economy. This revolution happened in three phases in our world. In fact, it's still happening. The first phase happened between the mid of the 18th century to the beginning of the 19th century in England. The second phase happened between the mid of the 19th century to the beginning of the 20th century in North America, Japan and Europe. Only by the end of the 20th century, this industrial revolution started spreading all across the world. For the first phase of the Industrial Revolution in England, the cities like Manchester, Birmingham and Liverpool had contributed almost equally but in their own ways. This revolution happened in four main fields due to the result of scientific advancements and development in England. First one was the change in energy source from wood to coal. The second one was the starting of bulk transportation of goods through rivers, man-made canals and by trains. The third one is the starting of extensive usage of iron in its various forms. Due to these big changes, a big revolution happened in a field which made England the most powerful country in the world and that was in the textile industry. They imported cotton and converted into fabrics by improving step-by-step -step processes in attaining complete automation and hence they could manufacture in bulk and export all over the world. The Liverpool port was the busiest port in the world during those days. From the middle of the 17th century, England started to import slaves, cotton and sugar from North America and Africa. Then they converted cotton into textile and exported it all over the world. If you haven't watched the second episode, then you can kindly watch it to understand better. In those days, Liverpool was the financial capital of England due to their extensive trading activity. In 1912 AD, England exported 8 billion yards of cotton fabric all over the world. From Liverpool, the imported slaves and cotton were transported to manufacturing cities like Manchester and Birmingham. The first ever United States of America's consulate was set in this city in 1790 AD. Due to the extensive slave trade happened during that time. After World War II, the identity of the city changed from a financial capital to a football city. Liverpool Football Club is one of the most successful clubs in the world. During the First Industrial Revolution, Manchester rose as the most powerful city in the world in the textile industry. This city even gained a nickname in the 19th century as Cotinopolis. To transport coal from its mines, which was the energy source for numerous factories in Manchester, they built Bridgewater Canal in 1761 AD. This was a major milestone in England's transport system because this led to construct various similar canals in different cities by them. 
In 1830 AD, the world's first intercity railway station was constructed, connecting Manchester to Liverpool port. Similarly, this city also has the pride of having the UK's first telephone exchange. Manchester emerged as a textile powerhouse in the international market during this era. Hence, the similar city in India, Coimbatore, is called as Manchester of India. Wealth attained from the textile industry fueled the boom of other industries like science, education, sports, etc. To an extent of manufacturing numerous aircraft for Royal Air Force during World War II. Due to the employment potential in Manchester and the quality of education, the University of Manchester is one of the most famous universities in England for various courses. In spite of all these credits, today's Manchester's identity is linked mostly with Manchester's football club. In the first industrial revolution, the contribution from Birmingham City is a bit different but quite interesting to know. Birmingham is known as the world's first manufacturing town. This city was famous for thousands of highly skilled, specialized, metal-based small workshops. Great inventions like watch steam engine, blast furnace were born in this city. Residents of Birmingham had registered patent rights for their inventions three times, more than any other city or town in England. This city is also considered as the birthplace for modern chemical industry. Since after World War I, manufacturing facilities started spreading across North America, Europe and Japan. After 1914 AD, the British Empire's golden era came to an end. If you are a person who thinks that if I had this or that, I could have achieved better, then by watching this video, it will help you to think that every problem has a solution. Also, if you look at your problems not as problems, but as an opportunity, then no one can stop your success. England's various inventions and their industrial revolution were the result of them looking at their problems as opportunities. And as a result, they rose as one of the most powerful nations in the world. Many parents and students have requested to cover a special topic and that's what we'll be doing in my next video, a 100% student special episode. So keep watching and don't forget to subscribe and share. Till we meet again, take care and bye!